the innovations that sets the Grandma 2 apart from other desks is the multi-touch screen built into the console. The special dialog menu that you can open on this screen is a unique innovation for controlling color and shapers. After you select your fixtures, you'll see the preset control bar that separates your parameters. Select color to access color features. Below there, select color mix from the features selection menu. As you'd expect, this will place the cyan, magenta, and yellow attributes on your encoder wheels, but the new feature is the special dialog button. This will open a new interface on your multi-touch screen, allowing you to color mix using the Hue, Saturation, and Brightness system, or CMY, or RGB. Of course, all three systems are linked together. For example, if you bring up Cyan, you'll see that the other two systems are affected. It's up to you to pick the interface that you like the best. Of course, if you like the color picker from Series 1, then select HSB from the options on the right. Additionally, the Grandma 2 now offers a swatch book to help you mix colors based on a particular gel. Down the left, you can filter by manufacturer. From there, you can choose how to sort the gels, and also how they're displayed. You can scroll through and pick the color you're looking for, or you can filter directly by entering the gel number in the filter cell. You can also filter by name. Another fun tool is the live preview. As you scroll through the options, you'll see each color live on stage. If your fixture has shutters, you can use the multi-touch screen to control them. Select shapers from the preset control bar, followed by special dialog. Here in corner mode, you can bring in either the corners of your output, grabbing two blades at once, or click in the middle to bring one whole blade in. Alternatively, in blade mode, each option works to move one specific blade at a time. In either mode, you can also rotate the entire shutter bulkhead using the blade rotate input. The option below is to rotate the graphic interface to match the actual live output of the fixture. This POV option makes using this special dialog really intuitive. If you'd prefer to work using a percentage interface, select Fader Mode, where you can roll each shutter's corner by taking the fader up or down. Like the Color Special dialog window, this screen also allows for multi-touch input. 